I've been down on my back lately and not being able to bowl, I looked around for alternate things to do and I've been kind of going through this bookcase here and uh, came across some stuff. In fact, I got a full set of World Book Encyclopedias there and with the addendums from 1976 all the way up to 1998. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but while I was in there, I came across some books of poetry. Of course, a lot of you remember I like poetry, and specifically cowboy poetry, and I came up with this book of uh, Coyote Cowboy Poetry by Baxter Black. He's one of my favorites. And, of course, I like Red Steagle, too. I think we're going to give this uh, book to some folks over at Tulsa. And, uh, but before I let it go, I thought I might do a couple of the poems. The Cowboy and the Lady. She was tall and seductive and limber and lean. Right off she caught his eye. She marched with a purpose right up to the door that he was standing by. He took off his hat and reached for the knob and started to open the door. She spun on her heels and glared in his face and under her breath she swore. She said, the last thing I need is a cowboy who thinks I'm a frail fraulein and tries to impress me with sweet talk, with candlelight, roses, and wine. All men are alike, I've decided. You're only after one thing. All of your chivalrous ways don't mean doodly. There's no way I'm going to swing. Then she made him an obscene gesture and stepped back to give him his space but he let the door slip from his fingers, and it smacked her square in the face. Cause his mother had given him instructions about women and others advise to treat each one like a lady until she can prove otherwise. And I've, I've noted one more here that a little different in nature, but these are the kind of things I like, you know, the old days. The little kid sat on his knee and looked up with tears in his eyes and he said, Granddaddy, tell me again how it was when you were my size. The old man remembered with care and the memories flooded his mind. He said it was wild and free in the West, but that was way before your time. I had me a little blue roan and a son, he could run like the wind. And right over there where the parking lot is, we raced, we would always win. Where they put up the State Valley Bank, the Indians would camp on that side. And the very first antelope herd that I ever saw was right there by that new signal light. And down by the furniture store, where every week they have a sale, the overland stage at the end of each week would come by and drop off the mail. And oh, I remember the time when Buffalo Bill, all alone, caught up with the Daltons and they were shotted out. It was down by the savings and loan. And Grandma, may she rest in peace, would wait for me down by the strand. And finally one day, I gave her a ring. And that spot's now a hamburger stand. Asphalt and pavement now run over all my boyhood days. People need people out west, they came. And I don't begrudge all their ways. Oh yes, it was different back then. And everything's changed, so it seems. But deep down in my heart, I miss it sometimes. So I have to go back to my dreams. I hope you enjoyed the poems. <laughs>